It's a war dominated by two weapons, artillery and missiles. Western systems like HIMARS have proved game changers in Ukraine, but stocks of the solid rocket motors or SRMs that power these missiles are running down fast, which is why there's such interest in this, an autonomous robotic manufacturing plant nicknamed the Rocket Factory in a Box. This small plant, which can fit inside a couple of shipping containers, would revolutionise rocket manufacturing, allowing militaries to make small amounts of any rocket they need right on the front line of any conflict. The two suppliers, uh, Northrop Grumman ATK and Aerojet Rocketdyne, uh, looking at their capacity and their, and their lack of uh, ability to quickly add capacity, what they're seeing is, you know, we're, we're facing anywhere from five to 10 years of replenishing the stockpiles that we have already delivered to the Ukraine. And I was just recently in the UK, and it appears to me that the UK is feeling this and Europe is feeling this even more because they do not have as deep of stockpiles as the US has. At the moment, solid rocket motors are made in huge factories using traditional cast and pour methods dating from the Cold War. The factories produce huge batches at a time. And in the US, there's only two big companies making SRMs. Crossbow believe the process can be revolutionized. Using computer modeling, the factory would analyze the rocket's intended use, quickly design a motor to do the job, and then build it. You know, you've got the brimstone and you, and you have the AMRAM. Those may have different chemistry formulations in them. And, and typically what the, the industry does is I kind of tailor a major production run for that one chemistry. And, you know, and I go, OK, I'm going to make 10,000 brimstones and then I'm going to but then I'm going to have to retool everything and monitor and change my processes. And then I will address maybe the thousand AMRAMs, you know, a year down the line after I'm done with the brimstones. We're looking at a system that basically can go, hey, OK, that formulation B and that for that's formulation A. Hey, you want 20 brimstones this week? Great. We do that. Go in and literally just through software and or, you know, just a, a different hose for some different chemistries, be producing sort of an AMRAM formulation the next week. Crossbow is working with the U.S. Air Force to develop this concept and this month opened its first R&D facility in Texas. The company claimed just one of these robotic production lines could produce thousands of solid rocket motors each year, enough to power 100,000 Stinger missiles and three and a half thousand multiple launch rockets. You could say, post this up in a NATO friendly nation like Germany or Poland. And instead of having to ship full missiles or full up solid rocket motors, you could sort of join them closer to a forward operating base or factory that you wanted to add capacity to very quickly. You could sort of like take this mobile factory concept and rethink the entire sort of logistics supply chain. Crossbow began developing this concept before the war in Ukraine, but the shortages that conflict has exposed mean it's now gaining huge interest around the world. Down the line, they believe this robotic factory could produce not just rockets, but complete weapon systems, a fully deployable, unmanned missile factory in a box. Simon Newton, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.